So I was thinking about how I could make a YouTube video or a podcast on a new sexual responsibility that people have in their relationships and with themselves. And I thought to myself, oh my goodness, I can't do a video about that. (laughs) Nobody's going to know what I'm talking about. And then I was listening to a Mind Valley podcast with Vishen Lakiani. And he started to talk about pre-rational, rational, and trans-rational. And trans-rational being the state of mind where you are going into altered states. Um, you are experiencing um, astral travel. Um, you're having meditation experiences where uh, you are not so in the physical 3D world. And there's um, some people having experiences with ayahuasca and different um, medicines. Others are just really diving deep into their meditation practices to have lucid dreaming and these different kinds of um, trans-rational experiences. And I love the word. I love the concept. Um, obviously, rational being like a scientific rationality and pre-rational being like he, he's, he's talked about ideas like uh, magic and before like, um, you know, like Bible issues where we, they talk about um, parting the Red Sea and things like that, which would be like pre-rational um, and then rational being scientific and then trans-rational being these, this ability to access altered states, higher states, different vibrational experiences outside of the 3D world. And I thought, wow, with this new explanation that he's giving, with this new word trans-rational that he's giving there, I would give, give him the credit for it. I don't know who, who came up with the word but it's excellent, excellent word. Then I came up with the idea of trans rational sexuality because in in this society, in our culture right now, we're in a situation where we have to be responsible for our own inner child healing. We have to be responsible for our own sexuality. And we're in a situation where um, with the diseases and the COVID and the problems we're having in personal relationships with our partners, uh, with the new huge, huge world of pornography addiction that's coming uh, into play right now that's causing difficult situations for, for couples and, and um, this whole new world of, of sexuality that's coming towards us sexual video games and all these things. I wanted to make a video about discoveries that are being made on um, this trans-rational idea of sexuality where you can create your own personal healing sexual world based on whatever your needs are whatever your sexual orientation is, um, whatever you have fantasies or desires or, or issues, uh, with your inner child that you want to resolve feelings of loneliness, feelings of being rejected, of not being sexy and beautiful. And in this lucid dreaming, in this trans rational world, that we are now able to create or start to access, we can start creating our own personal trans-rational sexual relationship where we can be responsible for ourselves, not having codependency or needing to be with anyone else, which obviously in a way is quite healthy because we don't have to worry about sexual diseases and issues like that in the physical world. And yet we can actually create a real sexual world for ourselves in a safe and 
healthy environment, working through our our traumas, um, different issues uh, from feeling um, left out or undesired or abandoned, going through our attachment issues, we can do this practice and it can be quite erotic and quite amazing for healing those those issues um, that we all have. Everyone is working on those things and then come together in the physical world with our partner healed and in a much more agile uh, energetic sexuality that we can move our energies uh, much easier. We can get turned on much easier. We can actually um, have experience working with our own sexual energy in an individual way by ourselves and then be able to translate that into a healthy sexual relationship with our partner. So this this is a topic that's quite new. People are talking about it um, in altered states when it has to do with um, meditation or abundance or creativity or um, those kind of ideas, healing inner child issues. But no one's talking about how to create your own transrational sexual relationship with yourself. And I think this this topic will be kind of quite new for a lot of people, but I think that it does, if people are doing meditation, we have Headspace, we have great meditation apps and places where you can learn to go deeper inside yourself. And then you create this lucid dreaming state where you can create your own scenarios, you can create your own situations where you can work on healing your sexual desires, experiences, fulfilling your sexual needs and being totally responsible for yourself in this way. This way we can be a lot more complete in our masculine and feminine energy balance we eliminate codependency. We're not yearning or expecting our partner or other people to fulfill our sexual needs and desires. And as we work through these different scenarios, we can learn what turns us on, what we like, how we feel about sex. We can work on the different feelings and thoughts we have during our sexual relationship and we can do it with ourselves in a secure, safe environment. And it's no more than a few deep breaths, a relaxing meditation and reaching into your own sexual world little by little, by yourself and starting to work through your desires, your issues with the opposite sex or with the same sex, whatever your sexual orientation is. And having a safe, peaceful and protected space where we can create this, this fulfilling and we're talking here a lot more deep than fantasy and masturbation. We're talking about reaching altered states of human sexuality. Um, creating experience with opening to different energies or beings that might be in our uh, energetic reach. Creating other um, like creating our own masculine energy and our own feminine energy, visualizing those in any way we wish to, um, joining those in balance in ourselves. Um, we can have experiences where in past the third dimension, so what I would call the fourth dimension or the etheric body experience where we can connect with other people that we love and desire, obviously always using our intuition to ask permission 
from their energy to share with you and creating a very fulfilling and very healing trans-rational sexual world. So this is just a simple podcast to get the idea down. Um, I will make more videos and podcasts about this in the future because it's quite a even a new idea or a new terminology that came to me through this lecture I was watching on Mind Valley, but that was basically the word for me when I heard him explain it in that way. Um, where we're going in the future as humans with our own sexuality. And I wanted to get this out there on YouTube in a podcast and have it um, as information for for people. Let's get this down and let's get this going so that people can start overcoming their issues, their traumas and and their needy and their codependent and their their insecurities. We can heal all of those issues in this beautiful, relaxed and altered state of, of consciousness where we can do the healing process with our sexuality on a whole new level. And so there we go. Trans rational sexuality. Okay, we'll take it. We'll leave it for for now at that and I will talk more about it in the future. Let me meditate on it a little more. Okay. Have a great day.